Okay, so if you're working on a fairly complex React application, you might run into this problem right here. So I'm in a component that's a few levels deep. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different directories that it's inside. And so if you have a complex directory structure like this, if you want to go back and get a component that's in your source directory, you got to do this really ugly and confusing dot dot slash dot dot slash a whole bunch of times to get back to the source directory and then find the component that you want. And of course this can get really annoying if you have a whole bunch of different imports. This is just two but you're probably going to have more. And of course the situation becomes even worse if you're switching around to different components. Maybe you open up a button component and you're not completely sure where you are in the directory structure. So if I want to reach the source directory from here, how many directories do I have to go back? It's not immediately apparent, and it can really be confusing when you're working with a whole lot of different directories on a larger React project. But thankfully there's a better way to do this, and it's by using absolute imports instead of relative paths right here. So these are all relative paths. You're telling React where the button is in relation to your current file right here. But it would be a lot nicer if instead of this we could just set the absolute directory to the source directory and then build out from there. So we can just set everything relative to the source directory. So we could say just components slash button because components is in the source directory. We could do the same with this logo. But of course if you do this without doing anything else it's just going to return an error right here. If we restart the server of course it's just going to error out right here because it's looking for a components slash button inside the relative directory. So here's what we can do to fix that. We're going to create a new file in the source directory and we're going to call it jsconfig.json and we're just going to put in this right here. So this is a json file so we're going to use json syntax and we're going to put in compiler options here and inside that we want to set base URL to source. And so now the base of all these imports will be the source directory and you also have to include this include right here after it. And this is specifically if you're just working on a JavaScript project. So if you use create react app with TypeScript, then you would already have a tsconfig.json file right here. It already has a compiler option. So all you would need to do is just add this base URL property equal to source inside there and it would work exactly the same. So once we have that, let's save this and see if this works. We'll restart the server here. And as you can see, everything's working fine. So with absolute imports, you can write everything a lot easier. You don't have to mess with going back directories, going up directories, back and forth. No matter how many directories deep you are, you can just write the path relative to the source directory.